Hi, my name is Katherine, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to give an intramuscular injection. An IM injection can be given in the ventrogluteal site, the vastus lateralis muscle, or the deltoid muscle. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to give a flu shot, which is given in the deltoid. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have all of your equipment ready. So you want to make sure you have access to your MAR, which provides all of your patient information, your vial of medication, a needle, another needle head, your alcohol prep wipes, band-aids, some gloves, and access to a sharps container. So the first thing you want to do is triple check your MAR. Your MAR is going to provide all of your patient information. So you're going to follow the six rights to medication. So you're going to follow the right medication, give, the right give it to the right patient, the right dose, the right route, the right time, and you're going to provide the right documentation. So I'm going to look at my MAR and it's going to tell me what medication I need. So the first time I check my medication is when I pull it out of the drawer. I'm going to check it again with my MAR and then the third time right before I give it to my patient. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop the cap to my vial. Then I'm going to take my alcohol wipe and I'm going to clean the top of it really well. All right, then I'm going to pull off the cap to my needle and I'm going to draw up about a half a milliliter of air. Okay, and I'm going to inject this air into my vial, and then I'm ready to draw up my medication. So I'm going to drop a half a milliliter of that medication at eye level. There we are. And I'm going to make sure that I have no air bubbles in my vial. And I'm good to go. And I'm going to cap this using the scoot technique just so I can switch out my needle. And I'm going to put another needle head on top just to make sure it's nice and sharp. And there we are. I'm ready to take it into my patient room. So this orange is going to be my patient. I'm going to use the proper hand washing technique. I'm going to put on my gloves. And then I'm going to make sure I use the proper patient identifiers. So I'm going to make sure I ask my patient their name and their date of birth and if they have any allergies to the medication I'm about to give them. So when you're, since I'm giving a flu shot, I'm going to be giving it into the deltoid. And so you want to make sure you palpate to find the right landmarks to, so you know where to give your injection. So on myself, you're going to find, get your deltoid and you're going to fill for the acromion process of the top of the shoulder. And you're going to go about one to two inches below that. So it's about two to three finger lengths, depending on how big your fingers are. And then right underneath that is going to be your injection site. So for my patient, after I make sure I get their patient identifiers and make sure that they don't have any allergies to my medication, I'm going to make sure I clean the area really well, going from the inside outward with the alcohol wipe. Okay. My cap off. I'm going to find their chromium process and I'm going to go about two to three finger lengths below that so I can find my injection site. Then I'm going to inject my medication at a 90 degree angle, but first I'm going to pull back and aspirate to make sure I'm not in a blood vessel so that there's no blood in my needle. Since there's not, I can go ahead and inject my medication. I'm going to hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then I can pull my needle out. I'm going to dispose of my needle in my sharps container. Clean off the spot with my alcohol wipe. And then if necessary, I'm going to get a band-aid out. And put it over the site. 
just like that. Now, if you're giving an injection in any other muscle other than the deltoid, like the hip or the leg muscle, the ventrogluteal vastus lateralis muscle, you want to make sure you use the Z-Track method. And the Z-Track method, just to demonstrate this, is you're going to take the skin and pull it laterally to the side tight. You're going to take your, um, your needle, inject again at a 90 degree angle, Aspirate back to make sure there's no blood so you're not in a blood vessel. You're going to inject your medication. Hold it there for about 10 seconds. Pull your needle straight out. Put it in your sharps container. And then let the skin go. And what that's going to do is it's going to lock your medication in place. And it's going to um, decrease the irritation. On the, when you give a flu shot or any other injection in your deltoid, you don't have to do that because the muscle is not that very well developed. So I'm going to take my gloves off, use my proper hand washing technique again, and then the last thing I'm going to do is make sure I document correctly. So I'm going to document the medication I gave to this patient, the dose, the route it was given in, and then the site. So in the case of my patient, I gave it in their left deltoid. I'm going to document the time, the exact time it was given, today's date, and if for whatever reason I decided not to give the injection, like I had to hold the medication, I would document that as well. And that's how you give an IM injection.